Hello, all you fan freaking fantastic people. It's your boy, Medusa, coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And last time we met Mid, Sid's daughter, Final. And from what I understand is in this one, we're going to be starting off looking for the Titan who escaped. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping so badly that we get like a massive epic fight of Ifrit and Titan. Let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything new in here. No. Nope. Yeah, so we're just gonna go main quest. The have been up to their old Bolts from the blue speaker, speaker here. Byron. It's good times. <sighs> I still love this song. It's catchy. And my rope broke. Ah, my dear nephew. How I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was, I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? Oh, we gonna be party up in here? Mm. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Hmm. Quite, yes. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Wulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves. His life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, 
A party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Hmm. 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 Well then. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candlewood on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Mm-hmm. I'm also anxious to go. <laughs> yeah! She has new stuff. I'm not interested in that right now. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop by right here. All right, Otto, what you got to say? Sid, of course. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. Ah, oh, two birds and one stone. I won't any more than I have to. Come on. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalamil, son caller, the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Mm, new friends. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Mm. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Wait, what? Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. Oh. You can count on us. Took me a minute. <clears throat> or a few seconds. Yeah, he's not staying here. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Oh yeah, boy! On the road to Viridian City. Oh, uh, oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm assuming we're meeting him here. Like, why not destroy the mother? That, that's the whole point. That's what the entire thing that we're trying to do is, is destroy mother crystals. We have the opportunity to destroy this one. Like, how many more is there? One, two... Wait, there's only three crystals? Okay, yeah, there's three crystals left. Why not take the chance and the opportunity to destroy this one as well? Like, why not? Ooh, like, come on! Anyways, we are going to a Velcroy Desert. Northwestern Dalmachia, a vast arid sea of sand and stone that has been slowly consuming Western Dalmachia since time in memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something, something dark side. Mm, something about your face. I was a young man when last I walked this path. The 
There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sands. Ooh, Ambrosia. How you doing, girl? Good girl. <laughs> oh yeah. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. You know what? Markham I'm gonna Clive. explore a bit. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Like, I don't think there's much more than combos than this I can do, right? Yeah, I know, you know, I know. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah, let me uh, get my footing back in place. I, I missed? What? When you were just a boy, mm -hmm. you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Great Spang. Remember, it was I just saw, before Joshua was born. I saw a piece of candy over there. He was so eager to talk about too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, falling like a babe. Laws. Laws, 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 laws. You were balling like a baby. All right. Ooh, ooh, this is a riddle of the sands. Wow, this is pretty massive. Should I explore? I love exploring. But I also don't want to make this video way too long for no reason, right? I'll, I'll fight around a little bit, you know, get some ability points. Oh no, do I, do I have my, uh... Oh, I've, I might have forgot to equip the accessory. No! I hope not. Oh, here. Here's a tornado. <laughs> oh, and I did not stock up on any potions at all. Yeah. Mm, get right. Get right, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Oh. This is fun. Uh, accessories. <clears throat> oh, I do have it equipped. Oh, oh, wait. How many points do I have now? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now, I gotta learn how to do some combos and shit, right? Right? Like, I could have, like, Scarlet Cyclone and what's the, um, Pile Drive, you know? I could have, like, a, a AOE, like, set and stuff like that, but I need to start mastering shit to be able to do that. But I still wanna, I wanna try new abilities, right? I wanna try, I didn't try this one. Have I tried this one? Oh, I did try this one. Yeah, this one's the one that lets me dodge and shit, right? So many abilities, and then you can only use very little at one moment. So I kind of feel it's... You know, you're limited. You gotta, you gotta pick and choose your combos and stuff. Whoa, what was that? Step forward and deliver a blinding flurry of high-speed punches. Blocking an enemy attack with the steps for increase the potency of the following punches. <laughs> I want to try that. All right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. All right. Um, this is the super powerful one, right? Summon from the heavens, a mighty 11 bolt that deals massive damage to a single target. Yeah, so it's a very powerful ability, but only for one target. And what is this one? Earth and Fury. Drive both hands into the ground, causing the lane to surge upward, sending nearby enemies flying. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't mastered anything yet. And I'm okay with that. But I do want to try some new abilities, right? Let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. I haven't tried this one either. Ignition. Let's get it. 
because why not, right? All right, so now we are going to try some new shit there. Ignition. Yeah, I do want to try this one. And um, oh, wait, ignition and Scarlet Cyclo. Mm hmm. And then for this one, meh, I'm going to switch this one with Titan and let's try the raging fists set forward yeah this one i want raging fist and i want at least one aoe one right which is which one upheaval yeah and then we got lightning rod but which one would i want Right now I have Pal Drive. Pal Drive. No, I want the Pal Drive. Ah, oh, both are good. Yeah, but this one is the one that is single target. So let's switch a single target to a single target. That could lead to multiple. All right, let's. You know what? Let's try this. All right, we're gonna try this. Potions? Nope. Ooh, I see enemies. Let's go. Let's go fight enemies. That was oh I like that all right let's try this other one oh is that all that is that all that it is oh oh I hit this and it causes lightning damage to enemies around really that is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I'll, I'll have to try it out again. Can I use it? Oh, I can't. Can't use it yet. Come on. Get close. Come close. Come close. Oh. I'm not sure if I like this one. <laughs> or I have or I just need a better opportunity, right? Who do you think those soldiers were in the end? So Lord Cook has finally made his move. Hmm. Yes. I expect that's why there's so many soldiers in town. I see, I see, I see. Well then, let's go see what is going on up around this area here. Oh wait, I gotta go lower. Okay. Can I fight you? Can I fight you? Okay, so that's that it's kind it is kinda cool. It makes it that what I'm fighting an enemy in in melee. That, uh, very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Yeah, it makes it that you deal extra damage while you're fighting in melee against a bunch of people. But I'll keep it for now, and we'll see. We'll see if I like ah, it or not. There she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Mm. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Like, right. you, you, you kind of still need to appreciate the beauty of deserts, though, right? It is barren, there's not much life, but there's there's a certain, like, beauty to it. Yeah. I don't know. It's almost like snow, right? Like snow fields and stuff like that. But instead of frozen water, it's burning sand.
What's up, Torgal? Something. Something. Oh! Look at that. Those are Ashen Steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stonehair. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Good boy. Thorgol is such a good boy. I love that icy blue too, right? Mm. Mm. So fitting. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? They're very focusing on where she is going. Please tell me Koopka's there. Is Koopka, is Koopka here somehow? I know we're supposed to be meeting... I forgot their name. Thingamajig. Sid's a friend. But... Oh! Oh! <coughs> that is quite the coincidence. Your Grace. It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> oh. No, he fucked up. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle? Sorry.
Oh, but she didn't see him. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Please see that it's Clive. Come on. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Friend. I like this guy. This guy is great. Look at him. He's like, what the fuck is he doing? What's <laughs> oh, fuck. I love this guy. Stay back, Uncle. Oh. Oh, he's a comic relief. We need it for this fucking dark game. Oh, this is great. Oh shit, oh this is... <laughs> oh. oh, fantastic. trouble uh, word of advice miss that soup could do with a touch more salt Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Clive? Like he knew which door exactly. What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go.
we didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. We do now, yes. Mm. Oh, they have a merch. So they have one shop down the street here. The ruler said it themselves. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Where? Oh, I wanted the shop. Did I go the wrong way? Perhaps. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. I wonder why. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. I do want to check something out. I just remember, now with this new move, that when I target something, it can target that lightning crystal thingy, right? So, lock on, use pet shortcut, pet cycle shortcuts, pet commands, yes, move, animal instincts. Oh, I forgot that was, that's a thing. Ooh. Reset camera, target, no, cycle target when lock. Oh, okay, so, oh, you press R3. That's how you do it. R2 and taunt and yeah, and I forgot that is a, I've never used that. The R2 and tab for taunt. Never done that. Yeah, so that's the only that's the only thing that I really wanted is the cycle target, but I completely forgot about the animal instinct. And the taunt as well. <clears throat> Alright, so where is that shop? It, it's in front of us somewhere. Looks like we won't be getting oh, right back there. to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not. Are you looking for something in particular? Uh, not in particular. Well, actually, I'd be lying if I said that. But this is like the rock cool down. It's fine. Hmm. That's the one that I'm using now. Eh? I don't think I need any of these. Ooh, let's do it. Here you are. Oh, the thousand tables. This is what I particularly An want. Choice. My thanks. Nope. Oh. An excellent choice. Mm. Yeah, I should be Thank doing this. Thank you for your custom. Mm. Very nice. All right. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a fair Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we <laughs> represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. My dear mm. man, good, my good man. Mm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Hmm. It's probably her. Problem what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Gerner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. 
The Briar's kiss, you say? Thank you. Well, I guess we're gonna be all kissing I Briar. This young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Not always. Some people do tend to become wiser than their age, right? Or their years. Quest destination nearby. Yeah, where? Mommy, I want to Well, show me where the qu oh. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. Oh, hey Turgle. But, but, come on, come, come on. There we go. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Luzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Thank you, good sir. Good luck with your boat. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Wait, incense. What, what, scandal? Excuse me, are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. And, uh... Do you I'm... think we can trust him? No. Only as far as I think he trusts us. Exactly. <laughs> uh, he, he, gonna, he gonna be testing so us. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around? Yes. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. We're not gonna kill them, I hope. We're just gonna best them. New enemies? Yeah, let's try this taunt. Oh. Farewell. Does it make it that they come towards me? Is that it? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of times that the enemy is too far. It would either teleport them, bring to me, use use some kind of like power. Like the uh, iconic uh, powers or whatever what it is, abilities. But something like the Titan, you know, like all it has, it's a shield. You don't pull or teleport to. So I guess that could be useful in those situations, right? This was the first time I've used Taunt. In many hours of gameplay. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, hi him. The boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Uh, yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. 
that's that's quite the test there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we're gonna send people. Can you defeat them? Yes. Oh, you are worthy. Oh, you are who you say you are. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. The most yes. fragrant herbs and My spices. carpet. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? The thing. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <sighs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? His life. Why trust? Everyone oh. knows that. Without it, you have nothing. Makes sense. Yes. I agree. And nothing yep. is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I do have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. Shut up! Shut we up! might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. Yes, what do you want? I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Mm. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Uncle's attitude changed quite a bit there, eh? Hmm, wouldn't you agree? I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. 
Apparently not. What? Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Assholes. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How dare you be my way, Brazier? Oh, I, I can't swing my sword here. Oh! I want to teach that picture. Piece of my mind. And a lesson needed to a certain softness, like eating a cloud with a crust. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much you gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Okay. The finest fabrics! What was all that crashing and banging about? Oh, hello you! I'm sorry, miss. Serving girl. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Well, what do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? In my defense, this started. for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Mm -hmm. Bye, sir, about the bar. Let me treat you. I need to drink. Yeah, me too. Genuine cat tour needles imported from across the sea. Just one prick and your little sparrow will sing. Oh! Please take it out! Fucking men of the wrong. Any time they pull their snouts out of Coca's trough is when they want to lord it over us. Hmm. I see. Fuck him. Oh, okay. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. 
What are you doing, Uncle? Hmm. I'm not sure. Some good, I hope. Something, something good. Something dark side. What's up, bro? Is that a treasure? It is, it is a treasure. Mm, two goblin coins. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kuka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. Not only! A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. Well, of course. Of course. Me, me and Clive, we think the same. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to understand Clive's personality, I think. A lot more. Fucking men of the wrong. Hey, more treasure. I'ma just go. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Nobody's looking, right? Yep, yep. Ah, Ponder's keepers. Losers, whippers. Um, how do I get there? That way, yeah. Oh, okay. Back to town, would seem. Oh, this way. All right, let's go. Hello there. How you doing? Have a good time. Mhm. Mm yep. Come on. Fly Ambrosia. Let's go. Super speed. I do want to fight some enemies, though. You know, get some ability points, all that good stuff, right? Be safe. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Are, are you gonna tag or? Well, it was about time. Oh, you a beautiful bird there. Mm-hmm. Why, yes. All right. Ready, go. Yeah. Ah, see me a piece of candy, piece of candy, piece of candy. Oh, what's up? She does it. Straight home now.
Sorry, bro. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I removed the other one. I think I do prefer the other one, though. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one, right? Ooh, we have discovered the new place. Yes. All right. Oh, here. Yes. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. I prefer this thunderstorm. So now I also need to, I did just change some of my moves. I need to look at here. Uh, reduces flame of rebirth cooldown. I don't have that one anymore. So I'm going to switch that. Increases combo damage by 5%. Three seconds. I can use it more, more often. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of those ones. It's not like I never have abilities to use. Right? Increases defense by 30. I might, I might equip that one. And also, I might not even know what the f I'm doing, so, you know, whatever. Yeah. This is quite indeed a very big place here. Good God. Very large map. Hmm. Six desert roads. I'm on the road to Viridian City. That's the only that's the only part <laughs> lyric of that song that I remember. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I'll take it from here. Okay. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. <laughs> oh, you about to get fucking Rex up. Oh, I should have used that one first. My bad. My bad. New enemies. Just 
Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I fucked up again. <laughs> no! <laughs> I need to jump on top of it. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go ape shit on their asses. And so th these guys are kind of a little bit tough there, huh? Just a little bit. Shit. Enemies, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not very tough. Yeah, just long. <laughs> oh, they got wrecked. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice, don't you? Great bid. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, oh, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Now, I hope he doesn't monopolize on them as well. He actually spreads it around. Sometime later. Mm, yes. Mm, ah, mm, it ooh. occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Said Clive. Or Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Are you making well, fun of me? Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? The door! 
And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, Greybeard. Double the. <laughs> <laughs> they have a love hate relationship. Wear this. Hey! More bling! <laughs> <laughs> Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, me lost, Elan. To his Achilles. It's been quite a while since we've seen this. I think the f the only other time I'm we saw this. you, Sid, or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was gonna say his father earlier, part of the game. He used one of those birds and well got then, shot down. I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Come on, Uncle. Let's go. <laughs> ba -da -bum. We got some renown too. Sweet. Mm -mm. Ah, and now we got side quests. Really? All right. Well, let's. We, we got. Uh, we gotta do the side quests. Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Yes. Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? There's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Wes accepted! Carving out a niche! Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I'd better get to it. Hello, Flesher! Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, 
It's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. From the stoutest stoneware. Boat ship, boat ship. Oh, hell of a Zever, that household. All those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you alright? The baths are closed. Leave me be. Why? On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. Yeah. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. Okay. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. All right, we'll, look, we'll accept your quest. Prime to arise quest. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> Um, where else? That is quite some teal blue. That is very teal water there. Hmm. What is it? Me no move for chatter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um, has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. He Not cares. Oh, anyway. he cares. Well, so long as you have a plan. And I don't think it's just business and reputation. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Oh, okay, it's the same song. Oh, but it's like electronic. Mmm. Very nice indeed. That's, um... Oh, I did enter from the wrong spot. No. Oh, I gotta go all the way around there. Okay, well. I'm gonna ride the trouble then. Oh, 
Come on, girl, the gate's open now, we can press on. What the hell are those things? Um... Bombs. They're heating up the water like crazy. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Very pretty. All right. By the flames. Holy! What the? the holy shit! What the fuck is going on here? I hope they're easy to kill and they're not all just gonna decide to explode on me. That would be bad, right? Yeah, it seems to be okay. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it looks like Yuffie. Got him. <laughs> I got him a little bit. That's all that matters, right? More? What the hell? to be a reference to Yuffie. Come on. Right. What is that? What is that? Old Faithful. Come on, let's wreck his face. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm trying to do certain moves and I can't. There you go. No, technically it's mine. I got the kill. Mm, don't care what you say. Oh. Huh. Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling. Yeah, that was. Uh, I saw three of them, and then there were like ten thousand. All right, let's just teleport back there, right? So. How'd it go? Pretty good, pretty good. Did you learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Uh, Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his... Dalamil remark, but that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No, we must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I don't can't curve put off blades this knife forever. Agreed. A curved knife? Google I don't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough 
if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light, meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps. Mithril? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Okay. Hey, bye! Wait, did I saw a quest? Where is it? Where? Where? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, well. Alright then, let's go that way. Let's go. So, I don't think we're going to be fighting Titan Master. in this video. <laughs> Better already. At all. Oh, well, it's okay. We've discovered a new place, make some new friends. We got a very funny scene with Uncle. Can't complain. This was this has been fun so far. I'm really looking forward to beat shit out of Titan. Safe. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... Oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. Literal. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation oh, yeah. to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to Ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. Yeah. Something that's close by. Metal you're using, and there's always limestone, I suppose. <laughs> there's plenty of that. Folk first settled Dalamil to we just saw a whole bunch, deposits. right? And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it. I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality. But I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Mm -hmm. Guys, I uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me. But <laughs> get you some the limestone. <laughs> get some limestone, yeah. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. <sighs> I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it. Yeah, I know. Then I suppose we were just there. The forge. Right, you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up or just throw it in the furnace? Well, I guess I could teleport there, be quicker, then walk the other way. Hey, fast travel! Woo! Well, this is no good. Is it true what I'm hearing? Mm, 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 needed to a silken softness. Like eating a cloud with a crust. Quite so much. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. Big giant fireballs of doom. You 
tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. Quest complete! All ye boy, hot water! Hmm, look at that renown. Ooh, and a level up too. Sweet! Oh, we got us we got the scroll tit! Mmm! Oh, oh, oh. oh you know y'all know what that means, don't you? Tell me he couldn't walk here just to get some limestone himself. Right? That is gorgeous water. Oh. Hmm. Probably not drinkable. Well, maybe it is. I don't One know. Rock looks a lot like another. But hopefully, this is what Seven needs. Yeah, it is. It probably is. It probably is. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. Mm-hmm. It's on the spring lime. Hmm. You Tangy. are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. <sighs> now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. It seems kind of Life um, forged from the very rocks of Dalamil, her spirit, if you will. It's a fine looking blade. It, <sighs> it seems rough. <laughs> I only hope Master Lou jaded agrees. edges. That sounds like my cue, and just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubal. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. <laughs> uh, but, but what do you think? <laughs> what do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Yay! Tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um. I was wondering, uh. What would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. Yeah. There goes a master, all right. Yep. It looks like congratulations are in order. 
I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. That's complete. This is nice. Carving out a niche. And we got some renown too. So. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do now. I want to go back to the hideaway. And I believe that I have the items I need now to forge me that dragon wyvern thingamajig armor. Right. So I'm going to go see Blackthorn. What's up, bro? Life. Blackthorn? What'd you want? Um. Yeah, let me just take a quick peek here. I don't think there's anything new, right? No, there wasn't anything new, so... Oh, right, right here. Drake Slayer's bracelets. Hmm. Not bad, oh. if I do say so myself. Oh, well, thank you. Hmm. Mm. Fine. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so... Ooh, there's a lot of new stuff everywhere. Reading table. Add a stone. Oh, that's right. We bought a new... Um, Orchestrian roll. It's back to the scroll or whatever. And I believe the thousand tables, right? Was it? Was it? Oh, yes. Oh, well, yeah, some music. All right, cool. And. We got some new hunts. Oh, we got some new hunts as well. Hello, Nectar. Boop, boop. All right, we got a, oh, ooh, a bee. The Velcoy Desert Dalmikio. Among Republican merchants reports, a pound of caravans being crushed by a black boulder, a creature in indeterminate in nature but quite decided in size, strength, and spite. He or she who took it upon themselves to seek out and slay this black mass would earn the eternal gratitude not only for of the desert traders, but of the curse breakers who risk their life and limb with every trip through the Velcro. Hmm. That's a lot of gills though, 10,000. The Velcro Desert Dummy. Okay. Okay, no, okay. Wait, do I have enough renown for anything? Hello, Dizzy D. How may I help you today, Clive? I want to see if I got Here's anything. everything we've received and no. everything promised. I need four, 410. 800 ability points. That's kind of good. Hmm. Hi, Clerics Medallion. Well, that's probably going to increase the uh, potions by a heck of a okay. lot. Hey, you know what? I, you know what I want to check? I want to check if... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna switch this real quickly and I'm gonna equip the what was it? Yeah, the cleric medallions plus one. With it equipped, I want to see what it tells me for potions. It doesn't. So, this only still tells me 24 or 48 percent. What I wanted to do was to see if the 40 percent was like added so it would be like 64 or 98 percent, or is it 40 percent of those ones right so that means that we get like somewhere around around the lines of like 40 percent proportions and like perhaps like 70 percent for high potions instead of 90 that i said but it doesn't tell me so i have no idea all right let me give <clears throat> let me equip back the um yeah defense by 30. Okie dokie, let's go back to the Dalmikian Desert there. The Velcro Desert. <laughs> I 
I've already forgotten. Ah, oh, gee, I don't know. I must be drunk. Yeah, Velcro Desert. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be looking for the hunt and we're gonna start the next video with that. So sweat up. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.